Hello, welcome to the channel. Got some exciting news to share with you all today. We have new RBAC security rules for Azure Logic Apps standard. You asked, we listened, and these new rules are available. They are in preview. So just some background on this. So Logic Apps standard introduced a new resource type. In Logic Apps consumption, your workflow really is your resource. And now in Logic App Standard, we have an application concept. So previously, we didn't have a lot of granularity for giving customers more control over access. And we've now introduced some new roles that will help customers provision access with least required privileges in mind. And we all know that that's very important for organizations as they go ahead and provision just the bare minimum from a security perspective so that people don't have more access than they should. Now, just as I mentioned, these roles are currently in preview. I think they're pretty safe to use, but uh, you know, whenever we roll out software, it always goes through a preview phase and then we'll reach general availability naturally. All right, so let's get into a few more details about the security roles. And just a heads up that we do have a blog post here as well that you can go ahead and take a look at. Wagner put this together. I've borrowed some of his content for this video, so thanks Wagner for putting together a great resource for customers to learn more about it. So here we've got the four different roles. And on the next slide, there's a very nice table that Wagner put together that makes this sort of very clear. So don't worry too much about it. But what you can kind of look at is these four different roles. You know, we've got a reader role. And so this is view only access to all resources within the Logic App standard application, including workflow history, the run history, and the workflow run. Now we've got an operator role as well. So this gives you more of those operational features where you might need to enable or disable a workflow. You might need to resubmit an instance as well as configuring API connections and network settings. So operators can administer the platform and execute support tasks, but don't have permissions to make changes to the workflow or the app settings that you see in Logic App Standard. And all of these roles are kind of progressive too in terms of what they offer, so keep that in mind as well. Then we've got the developer role, which allows you to create and update workflows, API connections, and app settings. The developer role does not allow you to make changes outside the scope of workflows. So application-wide settings like VNet configuration, app service plans are not supported. So that kind of makes sense. If you think about a developer, hey, I need to solve a specific problem. I'm going to go ahead and create a workflow using these connectors and you know this logic to go do that, that's fine but then being able to make changes that have more broader scope, such as VNet configurations or app service plans, that's something that requires additional permissions. And you're gonna see that in the contributor here. And so in contributor, you can manage all aspects of the Logic App standard application, but you can't change access to them. So, you know, if you think about it this way, I may not own the resource, but I have full control over being able to modify it. Now, I can't, as a contributor, go ahead and give other people access. That's where you would still need more of the owner role, which would be available at like the resource level or the resource group level or even the subscription level. So you do need elevated permissions in order to grant further permissions. And once again, that follows the Azure model. So we're very much consistent there. This is that table that I was referring to. And, and so this is a great reference. And you can see we've got the various roles that I just discussed and what capabilities that particular role allows you to go ahead and do. So you can see, right, reader gives you read workflow, read runs, read site config. Operator will allow you to do those three things, plus restart and resubmit. Then we get into the developer. Now the developer doesn't have restart, stop, or start site, but otherwise has a lot more permissions 
around modifying app settings, being able to update the workflows, being able to access kudo and update connections. And then last but not least, we do have contributor, which is going to give you, you know, basically full access with the exception of being able to further provision roles. So quite comprehensive, far more granularity than you did see previously. Uh, we'd love to hear more feedback if this meets the needs, if there's you know additional needs that you do have, would be great to, to get that from you. Now, we'll just go ahead and do a very quick demo. This isn't gonna be the most interesting demo, but in case you're not familiar with where you would set up these roles, I figured it's worth spending a minute just to make sure that you folks know where to find them. All right, so I'm in the Azure portal. I'm in a Logic App Standard instance. You can see that here. I'm now gonna go ahead and click into Access Control IM. Now, typically what you would do is you would go in here and click on Add, Add Role Assignment. Obviously, you need to have access to be able to go do this. Then go ahead and search for Logic Apps. And when you do so, you're gonna go ahead and see the four roles that we just discussed. Now, what I previously showed you in the slides is kind of a summary of the access details. If you want to know more specifics for a specific role, just go ahead and click on the view link here and you're going to see the various namespaces that are used under the hood and the specific things that are permitted as part of this particular role. So if you're looking for more details, you're going to be able to find it there. From there, and I'm not gonna click into this, but you would go ahead and select the people or the group that you would want to associate this role to, be able to review it, and then you would go ahead and uh, assign it. And pretty much instantaneously, you would give that access to the appropriate people, and that would be reflected when they're logged into Azure. So that's where you go ahead and set them. That's where you go ahead and find more details. And yeah, that's uh, the new capabilities that are offered in Logic App Standard. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're not following me on, on Twitter, or I guess what's referred to as X now, go ahead, find me at Weirzy. You're obviously on YouTube. Thanks for checking out this video. Like, subscribes, comments, welcome. And we'll catch you again soon. Take care.